everyone welcome to another process video I'm Jenny this is the layout that I'm making today so I have got a piece of 12 by 12 um, paper from Al Studio or Ali Studio called Let's Eat and I've also got a 6x6 paper pad from Heidi Swap from the Dreamy Collection and I just showed you all the bits and pieces that I pulled aside there and I'm going to use um, whatever I can from that little collection to the side so this is my endeavor to use up some of my stash so this um, paper collection I've had for a long time and not used it so um, once again I love using which I haven't done for quite a while I love making a boys layout using um, papers that you know is quite girly and I don't mind adding some pink to my boy layouts as well so um, all I'm doing now is I've cut down two photos and they are about four by four and I've matted each photo and now I'm just adding another little pop of color underneath those two layers and under the two photos I should say and I'm going to start building up some layers of paper so like I said I'm using this 6x6 paper pad from Heidi Swap and I've just cut bits and strips off and I'm just using these pieces of paper that I've pulled I think I pulled about five pieces of paper and I'm going to use them all so um, I found this collection worked really well together with the soft grey it's not a very um, dark grey colour it's a very soft colour so it worked really nicely with all these pastels of colour so I in this I've um, mainly picked some aqua and some yellow and some craft and then there's some little pops of pink showing up as well so I'm just layering these up and I've used some double-sided sticky tape and I'm also using just some wet glue to stick it down so I get sick of using the double-sided sticky tape and pulling off the backing strip because inevitably I can never get the little backing plastic off and it takes forever and you don't really want to see me cutting um, taking off the plastic backing that's pretty boring so all I'm doing now is I have a background stamp from Kaiser craft and I'm just adding a little bit of ink I've got it here it's called tin can and it's a prima chalk ink so all I'm doing is adding a soft little bit of grey underneath the photo mat just to give it a little bit of interest um, didn't want to do much to the background I just wanted a little bit of texture and a little bit of color poking out so I pulled out these stickers from Heidi Swap as well they're the epoxy word stickers and I'm just having a look at what I might be able to use there I thought I could use the word brilliant but I wasn't sure and just um, if in doubt I've just put them to the side a bit and I'm going to fiddle with some of the layers again so just trying to work out where uh, my little title might be and I've decided that I'm going to pull out these stickers I'm not sure what they are called but they are a gray with um, like looks like someone's gone over it with a little bit of a white paintbrush it's got splashes of white paint on it so I've decided that I'm going to call this layout brilliant and handsome so um, I struggle with titles so I often don't use thickers I have lots of thickers in my stash and I hardly ever use them because I suck at titles so um, if I can use a card or already made word I will run with that and use that um, but you know I want to like I said I want to make an effort to use my stash which means that I want to use my thickers as well so trying to come up with some unique titles um, I know some people just yeah find it so easy but I don't and I know that I'm not alone in that so continuing on with the layout I'm just building up some of these layers it become very um, rectangle in shape and I don't like my layers to be all even I like them to be a bit uneven and to have little 
edges popping out everywhere so I'm just um, building up the layers by adding some little strips of paper so these photos here were of my son um, and that would be a year and a half ago now on his 16th birthday and we went out after school and got some milkshakes and then I got a tummy bug right after that so we had a milkshake and while we were there I was feeling violently ill and had to come home and I had a 24 hour stomach bug so it was not nice so we still remember that day of me getting sick and I didn't get to cook Isaac his birthday tea as planned but we did it a couple of days later so that's what this layout is all about and I'm just adding these photo corners here to the photo and I'm wanting to pop this um, one photo up a little bit higher on some foam tape just to give it some added dimension on the page but I don't know about you but I can never work these things so they've got stickiness on them and you're supposed to slip the photo in but Whenever I try to slip them in, they don't work and they don't look like photo corners. They just look like they're sitting in wrong. So all I did was I actually pulled the top part of the photo corner off and threw away the sticky sleeve um, that it, the photo is meant to slip in. And I've just used a little bit of my wet glue and I'm sticking the photo corner down that way. So it's not actually slipped into the little sleeve as such. It's just stuck on top but you wouldn't know if I didn't tell you so here I go just with this bit of double sided tape just to give it a little bit of dimension and then I realized aha hang on actually I think that I have got some sticky packaging left from some chipboard and I've seen people use that I think it's a great way to use up your scraps of um, chipboard stickiness because it adds a bit of dimension but doesn't cost anything and you know it saves it throwing it out into the rubbish so that's what I've done there and of course this other side isn't sticky so I've just added some glue to that and I go and stick that on and then I think I'm done with the layers except I'm not going to stick it down yet because I'm not sure how far I want my title to go down so I'm sticking this handsome on and I do fiddle around with it for a little bit. So I stick it on and then realize that I didn't like it where it was and I wanted it to be a little bit higher. So I just readjust that and having a little bit of a fiddle. I don't think I wanted it all to be perfectly straight and some of it is on the um, 12 by 12 sheet and some of it is stuck on the layers so all I did was stick my hand underneath lift a little bit up and squirt some wet glue underneath so that was too easy so here I go putting the end and then putting the brilliant which it snapped in half these ones are very very fine when you take them off and sometimes they break but you know you couldn't tell where it joined back together so it just fitted perfectly together so just taking the little dots off the eyes and putting them onto the page as well and then I'm going to adjust the end and just move that up a little bit higher and then I'm going to start to embellish the page but firstly I'm going to do my journaling and I'm looking for my right pen and I don't think that one worked or maybe it did this time no, there you go. It looked like it started to run out. So I was trying to find another pen, but they were all too thick. And I'm looking in my container, couldn't find my pen anywhere. And I go back to the one that I had originally started to use. So I've just grabbed that one and gone with it. So I've just written down there that I'd love these photos of my son Isaac on his 16th birthday and that he is brilliant and handsome. And it's wonderful to see him growing up into an amazing young man as well. So a bit of a mushy mummy moment, but that's okay. We're allowed to have them with our kids. And I'm taking full liberty to run with that, um, you know, any reason to celebrate your kids is a good reason, hey? So just adding a few more lines because, of course, I didn't enough lines and I talk too much and needed to just do a few extra 
So I'm grabbing these little word stickers again, seeing if there's anything else I can add, looking through some of this stuff that I pulled out before, I'm wondering whether I want to add a few little word stickers. I had planned to and then I have totally forgot all about it. So I found these little epoxy um, shapes and I'm just adding those. So these little, um, what are they called? I don't know hexagon I think I don't know I always get them wrong but anyway it's a one two three four five six sided shape you tell me what it is I'd love to see what you think it is and so I'm just adding a few of those adding a few colors as well to try and just um, you know add a little bit of interest to the layout it's not um, heavily embellished it's very subtle but I'm really happy with that so throwing a few arrows in a couple of love hearts repeating the same um, elements in the three spots except for up the top next to the brilliant at the start of the word brilliant I don't put any of the shapes in there just kept that one simple because I wanted to put my black spots and so I left a little bit of room so it's a little bit um, heavily embellished or heavily Ah, oh, it's late again. I shouldn't do voiceovers when it's late. Please forgive me. It is weighted very heavily to the right. But, you know, I like it. I'm happy with the way it turned out. So I hope that you liked it too. So I will leave you there with the stills. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.